received an email asking me how to loop a DVD and DVD architect. So this is a real quick rundown of two different scenarios, I suppose. The thing is, most times, depending on what your need is, is it a trade show? Um, you know, are you going to put a little picture frame up in your business and just loop a commercial over and over again? Depends. Then what you want to do is say new and you'll do a single movie and then down here you can drop down and change if you're in PAL or NTSC and if you want to go widescreen. I'm just going to go regular and leave the rest and then you'll just pick your file, your video file. So within Vegas, you need to have already rendered all those segments together, and then it will just loop together. So just make one EVI or whatever you decide you want to do MPEG. Open that up. Up here in the end action, you'll say link, and you think that that's okay, but you have to add give it a destination and so then the destination right here it already knows that it's time capsule 4D why it doesn't default to that automatically couldn't even tell you there's some other things that you can do in here but this is really basic just a basic loop so really from that all you need to do is say make DVD and then burn it out because once again it's all in this end action now let's say you want to do a menu based. So I would right click on this menu page, say insert media. Let's say I'm just going to insert this. So here's my media that I would have in my menu page. So I right click and I could say insert text and say DVD one up here and then I could change this if I wanted to my button style to text only or image only or I'm gonna say text only and rename it play and let's say you want a background menu page you go into background media and then right here you can replace it with some video so your preview as you popped in your DVD it would show this small clip same exact thing. If you want this menu page to continue, then you need to go in command and, and loop it. Once you loop it, um, everything should be fine. But you can see that I don't have any audio. So if you wanted to add audio, you could do that too. From that point, you know, always preview it and make sure okay. your videos are actually going to work. And then you say make DVD from there. Okay, well, hopefully this was helpful for you, and um, I hope you can make some beautiful looped videos. So thanks a lot for watching.